In this video we will take a look at adding team members to your project. Before team members are added, they first need to be added as new users to the space, as described in the previous video. For a project leader to add team members, start from the settings page. Select the team members tab, and then click on the add team member button on the top right. In case a user is not yet added to the space, project leaders who have the right to add new users, can create new users directly from the Add Team Member dialog of their project. One or multiple new team members can be added from the list of users in the space. They can be assigned to one or more groups, which project leaders can set up under the project settings. Groups represent sub teams within your project, for example, different trades working on the project. Through groups, it is possible to define which team members can work with selected issues as well as manage which issues will not be visible for certain groups. You can also assign a project-specific role to the new team member. Team members can be included in unlimited number of projects within your cloud, assigned to any role, and still count as one active user in the space. Each role has specific rights and project access. Project leader role is the only role that can edit project settings and add team members, as well as add and work with issues, and create reports. Editor's rights include adding and working on issues, and also creating reports. Reviewers can't add new issues, but can view, add comments and approve previously created issues, as well as create reports. Viewer role can only review existing issues, without the possibility of performing any further actions with issues. Once the role is assigned, you can select if this user can be assigned to issues by turning the toggle on, or turning the toggle off to remove the user from the available list of users in the assign field of the issue. Next, you can select if this user are allowed to import issues through BCF files, though only members with project leader and editor role have this option available. In the Zoom editing rights, a project leader can determine whether a team member is able to create, edit and share Zoom features. Zoom editing rights are only available for project leader and editor roles. If you would like to give users access to Zoom, they must be assigned a license in the Zoom tab under the administration page. Once the user has been added, they will be notified by email that they are now a team member of the project and the project will be available in their projects page. You can edit team member settings at any time during the project by clicking on the user from the project's team members list. Now that you've learned how to add team members to your BIM Collab project, Watch the next video to learn more about the BIM Collab workflow.